Hey guys, bring me a garden update. I said I wasn't until harvest, but every day I've been harvesting, so I really haven't made much of a video of that. But the ghost peppers are starting to turn red. About time. They took a long time to start ripening. But once one did, they all started to go pretty much. I guess from the gases it's, it's letting off. And they're just all over. I'm thinking about saving some for some uh, people on YouTube that eat a lot of peppers and send them to them and see what they think. Maybe I can improve my garden to a way it makes the pepper hotter. I don't know. We'll see. I got some big ones too. Really big ones. I don't know if that's normal for a ghost pepper. But uh, I'm certainly not used to ghost peppers that big. I mean, last year this thing put off little bitty peppers. I guess it's mature enough. But the bush is big overall. I'm digging this one up and bringing it in this year. And habaneros. I got some pretty big habaneros too. And look at that boy. There you go. Pretty big one. Like, like I said, this one last year also put off little bitty peppers. Didn't do much at all its first year. Second year, doing really good. This is, I guess, little serrano or Thai pepper. I don't know what it is. But that's that. I mean, it got pretty big too. It's like sprawling out everywhere in the Fresno. Got a whole heck of a lot bigger probably the coolest plant I like is my Trinidad perfume that whole big light green section right there is all top growth well new growth and this thing is loaded there's so many peppers on this plant I couldn't even count them if I wanted to and it's just loaded with peppers Everywhere you look, there's a pod. But it's cool, it'll turn like a real crisp yellow. I'll show you all update videos of the peppers as they come in. This is a bell pepper. Starting to get more flowers. Man, these things put off some peppers this year. I probably got about 30 to 40 peppers already. That's easily saying. I probably got 10 inside right now. I'm giving them away. Here's the watermelon. All sprawled out. That's just the two plants there. Let's go back over here. I have another one right there. On down to the Jamaican pot. These things are growing funny. Maybe because of all the space I have them in. Well, the small space. I won't do this next year. See how that's growing upward and not in the middle anymore? Same thing with that. It's growing outward and not in the middle. I think I have them too close together, obviously. But this thing is loaded as well with pods. Look at that. Just all over. I've plucked quite a few of them. These are pretty big too, but I know they're decent size. Here's, uh, I guess it's the squash plants. Yeah, I don't think I planted zucchini. Or which, vice versa, it doesn't matter. I actually got a fruit, finally. These are the three I planted after the storm destroyed the one, well, two. And they're decently mature now. And that's just a sweet pepper. They turn red. And here is the butch tea. That whole thing right there. This thing is massive. But I got a ton of peppers. Pepper there, pepper there, peppers there, pepper back there. And these things are just gnarly looking too. And this 
get a close up of there it goes see if it'll focus I just put my hand behind it there you go these things are just gnarly That's all to know. And Brussels sprouts. That's about it. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, bringing you a little update on the dwarf caving dish. We have another pup. I don't know if that was in the last video. That one's about, let's say maybe a foot tall, and that one is about two to three foot. I'm happy this came back, actually. Leaves look pretty good. Overall, healthy now. Well, again, a word of advice to you guys when you're putting them out from indoors, get a cover for them. They stress out badly. To a point where mine was gone. Next year it's going under the carport. My cars can sit out in the rain and the hail. <laughs> that's wrong. Yeah, that's a good little update. I think I'll put this on the video of the pepper update. And I'll put a video together with that. Uh, about the Nesco dehydrator. That I just got in. Dehydrated a couple different kinds of peppers. I'll be dehydrating ghosts and habanero as well. And just making a powder and sauces with them. I guess we can look at the super dwarfs as well. They're doing actually uh, pretty good. I think the mama started stressing a little bit from pulling five pups from her. Go ahead and water these things. I'm kind of waiting on the rain. If you guys want to see, it's cloudy here in St. Louis. And there's the pineapples. Uh, still don't know what's going on with this one. Uh, I only have like one or two more burnt leaves left on it, and the rest is all new growth. I'm hoping it'll flower this year. Let's see if I can get the camera down there without getting poked. Yeah, you guys can't see. So far, so good. It's getting big. Looking healthy again. And, uh, Baju. Doing pretty good. Pup's actually starting to, uh, throw out a leaf. Besides that, and the two mystery bananas. Possibly Orinoco's. Take a look at that one, just threw out a leaf. Take you up here and look at this banana. There you guys go. And this is a possible Orinoco as well. Don't know. It's still a mystery, but I got advice that it was, so I'm taking their advice. They seem to be pretty smart with it. There you go. Hey guys, got you guys inside. Um, this is the, the new dehydrator I bought, the Nesco, uh, off of Amazon. Works pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it, being it's an upper, uh, the upper fan on the top. So, drying some jalapenos right now. I did end up drying a bunch of ghost peppers and I'm going to grind them up. Uh, those one mystery chilies, whatever they are, they are. And I 
grinded some up as well. So far, so good. I've been running it for a while now, and since 8 in the morning. And I managed to dry the ghost chilies, those little Thai chilies, and jalapenos by 2 o'clock. The jalapenos probably done about 3, but... Yep, I'm gonna grind them up too, make a powder, add it to chili, pizza, whatever, you know. Probably put some pepper, some garlic in one, make a little seasoning out of them. I'll be doing that with the marugas too, and uh, the perfumes. Alright, one more look. See you guys later.